Doc Talk, brought to you by Borges. You're watching News Channel 3 for terminally ill patients. Finding a way to express themselves can be very difficult, but a local program is making it a little easier. In this week's Doc Talk, Kate Tillickson explores art therapy and how it's helping one woman's last moments alive be more colorful. Different trees. Every day, June Parker lies here in what's not only become her home. I never did that before. But her very own art studio. That there are things about me I didn't even know. She spends her remaining moments alive asking herself, What are you thinking when you do this, this artwork? The sunsets, the plants. I fill whole pages up. That amazed me. The 76-year-old is a part of what Borges calls its Expressive Arts Program, a part of its Visiting Nurse and Hospice Service. Wet tissue paper. This was June's and first I... piece. The textures spring off the page, symbolic of how she feels about being bedridden. I didn't want to be like this. I wanted to be up and around in surroundings. Through the art making, often discoveries can be made. Art therapist Kathleen Boudet spends one hour a week with June. She just has this spirit about her, and I think her artwork truly reflects her soul. It is such a vital way for people in their end of life to reap you know, many benefits from expressing themselves to really just enhancing their well-being. Wouldn't want those colors exactly. That's true. Yeah. Together, they reflect. Giving her an outlet, that's that stimulation of the senses. Every time she comes in, I'd like to try this, I'd like to do this, you know. These hot air balloons speak to June's immobility. This ocean scene, alive with fish, with a scared creature holed up in a dark corner. Perhaps a self-portrait. So in a sense, the image becomes a premise for which we can begin to dialogue with a person about what's going on inside of them. June has been in the program for six months. I've learned to connect more with people, be more patient with people. And she wants others to benefit from art therapy just like she has. Any way I can help anybody to feel more human. June is one of 10 patients currently enrolled in the Diane's Way Expressive Art Program, created for and named after a woman who, even after losing her right hand, filled dozens of sketchbooks during the last 18 months of life. The program also includes literature and music therapy. For more information, log on to homehealth.borges.com. We've also linked you there from our website. For this week's Doc Talk, I'm Kate Tillotson.